Mateus Glick is back from suspension. And for Wayne Rooney, we're expecting a 3-4-2-1 setup. What will be key is Russell Canals looking for Daniel Gazdag for Philly. Carranza, he scored two hat-tricks against DC last year. Yeah, and with Philly returning to regular season play, they set out their preferred 4-4-2 diamond setup. Home holds the key to DC's playoff hope, starting tonight against a Philly team back on the road after eight straight at home. Enjoying this spell of his career now, playing in the United States. An adjustment for a Belgian international. Those mistakes at the back from DC, you don't want to make those kind of mistakes, but they have, and Ua has punished them. Philadelphia Union inside five minutes are the recipients of a bit of a gift from DC United. And what has been a strength of DC United so far this season is their defensive shape, but this isn't a strength of Williams. He's trying to play out, he's doing way too much, and he gifts a goal. Philly really quickly turn it over, and Carranza has great recognition as he gets on the ball, picks up his head, and he finds a straight partner. Ooh, he has to reach back a little bit, but he does enough just to get contact on it. Tyler Miller scrambling across, but nothing he can do. It's a fantastic start for Philly, but uncharacteristic for DC United. As Williams is going to have to forget about this quickly. Awful mistake. Obviously, he'll be looking for seconds. Lifted it by Click. There's one of the players in there. Martinez now bringing it away for the team in their change trip. Tam Teller tonight. And Martinez has kept going. He's got Carranza in the middle if he can find him. It's gone all the way through and it's going to fall and be put into the net via a deflection from Jack McGlynn. And Philadelphia are into a two goal lead at Audi Field. So they go in transition, how quickly they break out. And watch Martinez, his run here. He just powers through, he puts the ball in the grass, and right here you would say DC United are safe, but Santos, he goes to ground, it's unnecessary, and now they're scrambling, but Durkin has something to say about this. And he just doesn't connect and get his feet right to clear the ball. He whiffs on it, and the ball finds its way all the way to the back stick with McGlynn, who just needs to pass it into the side corner and give Philadelphia Union a commanding two-goal lead. What a start. Treating DC United defender. Barker, a foray forward from the German, and a great ball into the box for Carranza, who sets up Ua. Oh, and a big touch. A combination, really, of Miller and Williams. Former Glynn, wide to Wagner, still plenty of Philadelphia players forward. It's a deep cross. Harriel, Bueno, the save from Miller. Finding space and on the near side right now. They get that switch of play and getting down the sides of the three. Over the top for Carranza. He gets the touch. He's caught by Miller and the referee is pointing to the spot. It's a yellow card for Tyler Miller and it's a Philadelphia Union penalty kick. They come off his line. He catches this wrong as Carranza. Completely unmarked. It's a great ball in behind. Carranza, he's first there and Miller. He's caught in no man's land. Look at this from Gazdag though. Perfectly weighted right into the path of Gazdag. And it's a penalty. And what you would say is that Miller. Tyler Miller now faces up against the Hungarian for Philadelphia Union with eight minutes to go before half time at Audi Field for a three goal lead. Perani clicked across. Benteke's there! It's kept out somehow and still kept out. That's extraordinary. Click to follow it in. Headed off the line by Glesnes. How did DC not score there? Moving from Click off the ball. You just look at where he starts and the way he gets in and clips this ball perfectly for Benzeke, who needs to generate a bit of power. But Blake, he scrambles across so well. Does he do enough to keep the ball out? Does it cross the line here? Oh, that's close. I don't know if there's enough to be able to say it does. I think Blake's done enough to keep it out. And then Philly are scrambling from there, but they do enough. It's great movement between Perani. And a wonderful ball from Click. That's it. Elliot with the interception from Benteke's pass. It's now Carranza, and here's Bueno. And this is a chance, and a good save by Bono. 
keeping the deficit at three, denying Bueno another goal in Union Colours, tuning in. Early hours, late mornings. Oh, Carranza's been played on. He can finish it for the Union here. And it's gone wide of the target. But the flag has belatedly gone up. Competition that Andre Blake played in. It's off Benteke's head, rather. Drops a click to volley, and then nodded in. But the flag has gone up on the far side, and Fajardo appears to have been denied. Donovan is the deepest man. But they get up to the six-yard box. And Fajardo looks to be half a body length offside when that ball is struck from Click. Portland, Vancouver, still to come tonight on MLS. Season pass. Garstag. And this is Ua looking for another one. Good save, Bono. Down on his right. Sharp. And it's a corner. Jack Elliott yet to score in MLS this season. Indeed, he hasn't scored in MLS play since a certain game in Los Angeles last November. A nice birthday treat for him, 24 hours after his birthday yesterday. Duki Pietro, oh, what a wonderful strike that is! Kudi Pietro has rifled that past Andre Blake. Because he's come on and he's tried to make something happen. And what a great goal this is. Where he picks that ball up and now he just drives. He's got purpose. And he takes it on so nicely. Goes right through the middle of the ball. Lifts it right into the roof of the net. There's a slight touch from Blake. But there's so much power from it. There's nothing that Blake can do. To the top four and getting that home advantage. It's full time. It's a fabulous result for the visitors of the Philadelphia Union.